Hello, everybody. It's Charlie again. And I'm currently playing Infamous First Light. And this will be a replay review of this game. I recently finished it. And, uh, yeah, I just wanted to uh, give you a review of what it's like to play it in 2023. Other than that, let's get into it. Hope you guys enjoy. What's up, guys? I am doing a review on a game that I spotted in the store by pure accident. Because I used to be into the Infamous series back in the PS3 days. And I didn't know that it was, like, more made. I just, I don't know. I missed it. But... This one here is called First Light, as you saw on the title screen, um, and I really enjoyed it. It was very different. The story was very deep. Um, it's considered a prequel to, I believe, uh, the Second Sun game. I haven't played it yet. I'll be putting that on my channel as well eventually. As you can see right here, she has very pretty cool abilities. I think like super power like. She has super speed. She can glide. As you can see here, she get these, she gets collects these lumen orbs, you know, and there's even speed boosts, so you can go even faster throughout the levels. As powerful as she seems, the game can get significantly difficult. Okay, it's not as easy as it looks. She's a pretty cool protagonist because of her story and her struggles. I think, I think it does work. Some people, I, I think, w some people aren't into this kind of thing. But I think because of the length of the game, it's tolerable. It's not that long, um, which is my problem with it because I wanted to play more of it. So obviously the game has way more potential, but it just wasn't made that long because I heard it was some kind of an additional story added later after Second Son, showing what happened two years before. And um, I had no idea. I just thought it was a standalone game, but now I want to play Second Son because um, just to see what happens next, right? Because this is a prequel. But anyways, here's me doing some of the combat. The combat is good in the game. I do think that you're gonna enjoy it. As you can see, the graphics are great, especially for the time that this game came out. I think it's maybe 2015 or something like that. Maybe 2016, don't quote me on it. But in general, okay? There is some humor in the game. There is interesting characters in the game. You just want more of them, basically. And as you explore the city of Seattle, you'll notice a lot of different things. The map is quite big, okay? It's not a small map, um, especially for a game that is not that long, you know? There's a lot to do on the map, believe it or not. I like more confined open world, so it, de it depends on you, but there's more going on in it, basically. But uh, yeah, it does have um, a lot of cool features, not only graphical features in general, as you can see the graphics are pretty nice, but it, uh, it does have other cool features like um, she, ha basically the detection on when you try to land on objects is not difficult to land on them. It doesn't feel like it's off-putting. There's little side missions like these where you rescue people that are being held hostage, um, it, you know. and. That's me, you know, after I've literally played through the game. I'm kind of just showing you. I don't want to ruin the story since it's not a long story. I don't want to put bits of the story in the clips. But I do think it's a game that I recommend. Um, it was a pretty good time. Took me a while to finish it on my channel. For those of you that were enjoying it, I'm sorry. But I get sidetracked, you know. But anyways, right here, these are a few graphical options that I think you should change or should keep in mind. Like, uh, for one, you can play it on high or low contrast, that's up to you. To me, both look good. High contrast looks really good. Unli unlimited frame rate, so you can go have great frame rate if your display allows it. And high resolution, so you can combine the frame rate and the high resolution into a good in-between. And they should add this to more games, honestly, because it does make a difference. Obviously, if you put high contrast, you'll notice that there is a little bit less fps because it's unlimited so it kind of goes up and down basically but do i think it's uh worth changing those features of course because it you know it does have the enhancements of the ps4 pro so on the ps5 it's going to play spectacular it's going to look spectacular honestly and if you have hdr 10 or higher you're going to notice the difference okay things just look better in high contrast and i always tell people switch on your high contrast when you're playing on a PS5, if you have a 4K TV, because it's a drastic difference in graphics, okay? Um, also, 
As you explore the world, you notice that the zones don't look the same. The city of Seattle is very, very well displayed. It looks like a genuine, the genuine, the real city of Seattle. If anything, it looks a lot nicer than the real one. At least that's what I heard. Don't quote me on that. But yeah, here basically there's drive-bys. You can stop them. I just stopped the drive-by, and that's in that specific clip. And it's pretty fun how you could interact with things randomly. They just happen, you know. And you gotta. Pay attention to these, basically, to make sure your power's up, so you absorb Neon. That's where her power comes from, and you turn it, basically, into a weapon. These soldiers here on the map, they're combating the crime, but they're also taking over the city. It's a long story. I don't want to ruin it. And these guys, you fight throughout the levels, you know? You fight them in the city, you fight them in the levels, you fight them in so many different ways that... It seems like it would get repetitive, but it doesn't because they make it difficult enough that it doesn't. It also has difficulty modes. I don't know if I'm... In the last clip, you may have seen it as I was scrolling down. Well, obviously, when you're about to die, I wanted to show this. You just get away for a second, get your health back. It takes a, a little longer than most games, but it does come back, depending on your stats in the game because, obviously, there are so many different ways to approach it. Here is just a look of the graphics of the city that I try to post. Um, Seattle is a city that I've always been curious about. Unfortunately, within the last few years, I've heard negative things about it. But still, in the game, it looks spectacular. There's one of the monuments, I forgot what, what it's called. I know it's a famous monument, or a famous um, building, or famous, I guess, yeah. One of those monuments. But anyways, here, there's challenges that I haven't done all of them. As you guys can see, there's a lot to do. The challenges are not easy, okay? They can last up to 45 minutes straight of nothing but pure adrenaline. <laughs> Some of them are in my playthrough of this game, which you can find on a playlist on my channel. If you don't feel like playing the game and you just want to watch it. But I do recommend playing it because it's not that long and it's a fun experience. Especially if you like... Uh, characters with superpowers then you're gonna really enjoy this I think the gameplay is obviously way better than the original infamous games there's there's no doubt there but at the same time there is a few shortcomings like it's just a bit too short you know unfortunately so what I would rate this I think this falls between a 7 and an 8 I, I would say a 7.5 would be the most fair score but it's a good 7.5 trust me it's a solid 7.5 um, at first, she seems kind of boring and lame and generic, but she's actually not. As you go through the story, you start to realize, okay, this is a lot better than I thought. Um, it is a good time. Here, some of the clips I try to show, I get on the train. You can actually get on objects and just play around like you would in an open world game. So it does have that, you know. Um, obviously, you can get attacked randomly by soldiers and other criminals and stuff around the city. She's ba she basically serves as a superhero for the city, depending on your approach to the game. Honestly, they don't have the same options as the original Infamous game, so you, that might annoy you. Because it doesn't matter how you play, you will be whatever, you know what I'm saying? Like, you're not going to be good or bad, depending on what you do. They have destructible environments as well, so you can start, like, demolishing cars. There's a mission on that in the game. Obviously, I try to play as a good guy, so I wasn't doing that. <laughs> But in general, I think uh, she's an enjoyable character. I think the graphics are really amazing when you're playing through the game. And uh, here is the last thing I wanted to show, which is a skill tree. There's quite a few skills to unlock. And I recommend just taking your time, looking at them, see which one fits you the best. But yeah. Other than that, guys, 7.5, I'm going to go ahead and end it right here. I do hope you guys enjoyed. Please like and subscribe when you get a chance. And like I always say, go game.